Hi everyone, Manuela Marcajani from Isomer Skin Care. Welcome to our channel, a channel where we talk about skin and skin care and formulations and everything in between. I'm a cosmetic chemist with over 35 years experience in the laboratory manufacturing skin care, but I've also studied skin and I've also, I also started out my journey on this planet with really bad skin and skin conditions. So I'm hoping to shed some light and information. Um, so maybe, you know, you get an easier path with your skin than I had. Um, I always think it's about sharing that information, which is really important. Anyway, today we're gonna talk about skin texture and how to improve your skin texture. So skin has a texture, obviously. So when you, when you start out, your skin can be very smooth, it's very fine, it's very soft, very baby-like, and then you'll notice that as we get a little older or eat certain foods, you get a little bit of a zit or you get a you know a little breakout you get a little rash something starts to happen and your skin texture starts to change so a lot of times skin texture is changing because the environment the microbiome of the skin is compromised for some reason the, in in plain english it means the bad bacteria is taking over where the good bacteria should be or the balance that bacteria is out of balance so, and as you age, uh, for example, you hit your teen, teenage years and you start to see these hormonal changes where you start to increase the sebum in your skin, maybe your pores get a little bit larger. What you'll notice too is your skin can be oily and dry, so you have like superficial dehydration, you've got uh, rough skin texture, you've got slow sluggish cells that are turning over. So all these things lead to a skin texture that is not necessarily ideal. So a few things that you can do to improve skin texture. One is make sure that you're cleansing your skin properly. So cleansing in a way that you're not disturbing the microbiome. This is because you want a little bit of an acidic pH. And when you have a healthy microbiome, it really helps skin texture. One, it helps skin texture because it kind of really deals with the breakouts and the rashes or the spottiness of the skin. But the other reason that you want a healthy microbiome is when you have an actual healthy microbiome, that microbiome actually creates ceramides. So ceramides are kind of born in that environment. And ceramides are the sphingolipids, the good fats that your skin needs, right, to smooth out the skin and create a better skin texture. So you see how, you know, the cleansing phase is important, the pH of your skin is important, using things with pre and probiotics could be important to keep that microbiome happy. The other thing to improve skin texture are going to be incorporating acids into your skincare routine. There are glycolic acids and there are beta hydroxy acids. These acids are very good because what they're going to do is they're going to increase or change the frequency of your cell turnover. So if your skin is not shedding as quickly as it should or as evenly as it should because of either habits that we have or too much sebum um, or different, different things that we're doing, by incorporating acids, alpha hydroxy and beta hydroxy acids, those are going to help speed up and add that cell turnover. And when you get that cell turnover working nicely and you get the skin cells and the follicles flowing nicely, they're not impacted, that's gonna give you a better skin texture. Other things to help skin texture are going to be scrubs and polishes that you can help refine your skin. And also what really helps with skin texture are retinoids and retinoids help with skin texture because again at nighttime this is part of that cellular turnover and one other thing that really helps with skin texture is really good source um, or high concentration and i and i like around the 14 15 percent concentration of azelaic acid this is fantastic because Azelaic is a dicarboxylic acid, so it works really well with your retinoids and your, and your other ingredients and your other acids. Doesn't burn your skin, but it does create a almost synchronized, very specific kind of cell turnover. So it kind of, it could be a little bit more active in certain spots where you're a little patchier or rougher. And at the same time, it helps to smooth and balance 
um, the skin. So that's going to improve your skin texture. Outside of skin care, other things that will help improve skin texture are going to be treatments such as microdermabrasion, uh, laser treatments, any kind of those uh, peels, chemical peels that you can do professionally and you do them a few times a year, those will also improve skin texture. But those to me are expensive. Um, they, they can and they are very good to do. I'm, I, I'm not saying they're not very good to do, but for me it's like if you're going to spend the money and a lot of times, you know, depending on where you live, it could be super expensive or the neighborhood that you're in, you know, it's very she-she, whatever. You're spending a lot of money on these treatments outside, but your daily routine doesn't incorporate the exfoliation or the acids or the ceramide building, then you're really defeating the purpose. You're really not going to get the texture that you want. So you really need a good skincare routine on a daily basis. And if it, that doesn't give you the skin texture you want, then opt for a couple of outside treatments that are a little bit more invasive, a little stronger once in a while. But keep up that routine because it will pay off with a really good skin texture. I know, I've walked that path and I've changed my skin texture like night and day based on these principles. I hope you've enjoyed our conversation on skin texture. If uh, it's been of any use, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. I really, really uh, want to thank you for tuning in, and as always, have a great day.